Hi, this is Vic, and as, t as usual, I'm starting this presentation on the Cadillac ELR with my stock photograph of my 2014 ELR parked outside of my garage. Uh, it's, I parked it on this particular date specifically uh, to be used in presentations. And uh, you see the car is being charged right now with the standard AC cord that comes as an accessory with the automobile. Right now it's being charged, plugged into a standard 120 volt outlet. Um, what I'm going to talk about, in addition to the basic operation of the major components and how they work together, is uh, uh, I'm going to talk about the, the display and the interpre interpretation of the um, mileage, the, the MPG or energy efficiency per charge display and how it can be interpreted the possibility of it being misinterpreted. Now, first of all, I'll start off, generally speaking, with the ELR, and I think the, she the same thing applies to the Chevrolet Volt um, of the same year. You get about uh, anywhere between 38 to 40 miles on one full charge. That has, been, that has, in fact, been my experience. I've been getting anywhere between 38 to 40 miles on one full charge. Uh, that is driving on electricity that's stored in the power supply without the engine or the generator running. Speaking of the engine, the gasoline engine in this car is a generator. It generates electricity for the electric motors that drive the front wheels. It's a front wheel driven car that is driven by electric motors. So even when the engine is running and in this case like I said the engine is a generator so even when the generator is in fact running um, it runs at one set speed to in the speed that is designed that the engineers designed it to run at to generate electricity it's the speed of the generator when it is running is independent of the speed of the vehicle um, and very very seldom do I run my generator or start my engine Okay, on to the next slide now. Okay, when I first started, I said that we were going to look at the possibility of, of the slides, of the readouts possibly being uh, uh, misinterpreted. Okay, now if the car gets only 40 miles per charge, then why is it that this particular slide is showing I've gotten 58 miles 58 total miles on on this one charge. Okay, I've got 56.2 miles using electricity from the power supply, and I've got 1.7 miles using gasoline from the generator for a total of 58.0 miles. Now, if you get approximately 40 miles on one full charge, how did this happen? Okay, I'm going to explain that. What happened was I drove... A number of miles I forget the exact number of miles that I drove but I drove a number of miles and I had and then later on I stopped somewhere and for the heck of it for no particular reason I plugged I decided to plug my car in and I plugged it in and it was not fully in it but it did not have enough time to fully charge the car again like when I first started driving so I'll back up for for a moment I, drove, I got in the car, I started driving, and it was fully charged, and then I drove it X number of miles and stopped, and I plugged it in again, but did not fully charge it that time. So, it's important to understand that I did not fully charge it the second time I plugged it in, uh, because once it's fully charged, that is what resets the energy usage counter when the car gets fully charged. Okay. Uh, and I'll move on to the next slide. This is a continuation of the same, the same situation uh, where now I have 65.8 total miles on the car on, on, on this particular charge. Once again, it's at 1.7 miles and 0 0.07 gallons of gas used for this charge. Now back up one more so we can look at it again. 
This is at the this is the first one where it was at 58 total miles, and I'll go on to the next one. This is at 65.8 total miles now. This is a continuation of the first one. So it's, so it's all the same, all the same charge. But I did in fact stop at least once or twice to plug the car in and give it give it some more charge, but not fully charge it again. If I had started fully charging it again, then this would not show 65.8. Fully charging the car is what resets the energy usage counter or the display in this area. And in fact, between the charges, I did in fact have I did in fact have to use gasoline um, a little bit, very little gas. I used it for about one and a half miles, 1.7 miles to be exact. Okay. So that's why this is showing 65.8 total miles on this charge. But it's, it's kind of misleading because it's not just one charge. I, in fact, had started off with the car fully charged. And then over the course of this 65.8 miles, I stopped at least once or twice and plugged it in again. But it didn't, did not fully charge it. Had it fully charged it, then this would not be showing 65.8 total miles. The term this charge refers to the last time the car was charged to was fully charged. So it can possibly be misleading uh, just to, to look at it without any explanation at all. But I did learn something in, in this process of doing this. Uh, I decided to plug the car in because just for the heck of it, be not that I was planning on driving um, 60 miles or whatever or 70 miles, I wasn't planning on driving that particular distance, but I was glad that I, in fact, plugged it in because it did allow me to drive practically gasoline-free without having to run the engine. Uh, I miscalculated because I did have to run the engine for about 1.5 miles or 1.7 miles, so I did, I did need to use the engine for, for a minute. 